right guys welcome back to a, another m creator tutorial today we're on 2024.1 and we're going to be covering a new system for tags actually so if you remember on the old version of m creator 2023.4 you would go ahead and create a tag element so you would basically type your tag name and then you would select your mail your namespace so if you wanted it under your mod namespace you would select mod if you wanted it under minecraft you select minecraft or forge and i believe c is for fabric so there's those tags or namespaces and then your tags and your path would be up here so for example we could go banana or cobalt and then we could do something like um raw and this would basically be our tag uh, file and then anything past that uh, would be basically the path that it would go to in that particular folder. We can actually check this out if we go to the Minecraft workspace for this particular project. Go under source and then main resources assets. I think it's under assets. Maybe it's under data. Data. I think it might be this one. Tags, blocks. And then you can see where some of these blocks are coming in. So everything in this particular um, namespace here, because it's under the block category, um, what we would have is our different folders for those particular things. So we have cables and then the different types of cables here. So that would be the tag actual name, it, which is in the F category folder, and then the cables category folder inside the actual blocks tags folder. So this would be the main root, which is this one right here. So this is the main root folder. And then we would specify the, the path from that point on. So cables F and then our copper would be our type of material. All right, so now that we know how that works, let's take a look at, um, I think that's about everything. And then you just basically select your tags and stuff like your category for your elements for things that you want to put under here. You can also add a tag list so you can put tags inside of tags and remove and remove the entire group. Now this was on uh, 23 or 2023.4 and then you have all the different um, types of tags that you can add items, blocks, entities, biomes, functions, and data types. So now that you kind of understand how that one works, we can go over to the new version. <clears throat> And by default, this is your project workspace. If we click on not the resources, but just directly under the resources, we have one called um, element tags. And then you can see that we have a whole bunch of stuff structured like that. It's a little bit different, but it's easier to find things now. You can, it's all in one place. You can see the actual registry for the path and the type of namespace it is as well as the type block item, the tag type itself. You can still put um, tags under the specific folders for the name, the tag itself, and it shows icons for the different blocks and stuff otherwise. Um, if you hover over the items themselves after selecting on it, uh, for example, we'll just select that one, you can also see the name of that particular block uh, when we hover over the icon when it's selected. So it can easily find uh, certain things and know what's basically been added as well. Also, additionally, if you click on the tab itself, you can actually expand the list of icons by the plus icon, add a tag, uh, remove a certain one. So you need to have that selected and then click the X button, or you could clear the entire thing, which is the X at the very end there. Um, to create a tag, you have a few different options. You can create one from a common list tag system, which are list the Minecraft and Forge tags that are already in the um, game. Uh, for example, there's some Minecraft ones. I'm sure there's probably Forge ones in here too. And they're all categorized under different categories like uh, blocks, items, entities, biomes, functions, and data types. We'll get into functions in another video because there's actually some really useful things. I still need to test some other methods and stuff with it, but um, I have found these two tags to be really useful. So um, outside of that, uh, we can basically select that or we can create one from scratch, which we would go on to the add tag. And then we would basically select our tag namespace or tag type. So basically, 
Uh, if we wanted under block, we would select blocks. And then we can also set our namespace. So we have a couple different options because this is using NeoForge. We have NeoForge Forge Mod, which is our mod namespace. And then we have Minecraft, which is the Minecraft namespace. If you use mod, you don't actually need to type your mod registry in or your actual mod namespace. You just leave it as mod and it will automatically know what your workspace namespace is and it will replace it with that. So you don't actually need to change it at all. Um, actually changing it could make it your life a lot harder if you decide to change your namespace later on because then you have to go back and update all the namespace. But if it's on mod, it automatically does that. And then you would basically put your path and your tag in this particular one. So by default, this would be the same thing as if we were looking at copper, it would just basically put it in the root folder like this. And if we were to want to create categories, we could do something like um, cables slash F slash copper. And that would be the same path that we had in this one. So we can see cables, which is in a root folder, Whoop. cables, F, and then copper. So that would be the exact same system. So outside of that, that's basically it. And if you wanted to, uh, we'll just create one quickly. Uh, we'll go ahead with items and we'll just call it that. And we'll just put it in here just so I can demonstrate how to remove it. So if you wanted to remove one, you just select it. You make sure that it's selected. And then you just click delete. It'll prompt you if you want to delete that particular um, tag and you can go yes and it will remove it from the uh, thing. So hopefully this has been helpful for you guys understanding how the tag system works. Again, this is a lot easier to find things too now. So you can type by uh, items. Uh, okay, maybe not items. Uh, let's see, uh, juke. And it will find things in the tag name list. So we can see that jukebox came up in this particular one. So we can find our tags based on the tag name itself, uh, which will should show up in the particular list as well. So hopefully, uh, again, if you have any questions about this system, um, it's no different to setting it up in the procedures. You would still use the uh, block procedure or tag procedure blocks for the tags. It hasn't changed in that regard. So uh, just the way to add tags and edit them and stuff. Now, by default, they should convert over if you update your workspace to this particular version. So you shouldn't need to worry about, you know, having to redo them or anything like that. It should automatically just transfer them from element to the list over here. Uh, if there is any issues and it doesn't do that, then most likely it's a bug and you should probably report it to um, M creator um, in the case that it doesn't properly port because in most cases it should port just fine. So uh, it would definitely be something they could fix uh, in a patch or something like that. Outside of that, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.